agree. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Guys, can you join? Yeah. Can I answer that question? Sure, sure. Of course. Go ahead. Um, for me, a uh, lie. I think people do lie because maybe in some case, like they w they don't want to make other people disappoint. So maybe okay. in case like, um, maybe like you guys ask me, how do I look? Am I look pretty? Um, maybe you don't look pretty, but I don't want to make you disappoint. So I, I said, yeah, you are very beautiful. You are gorgeous, but actually it's, it's not that. And this is why it lie actually, isn't it? Yeah. Or maybe in another case, um, we people do lie because we don't want to, I mean, um, we want to, uh, we don't want other people to know the truth about us. I mean, like, I can say, well, I am rich to attract men, maybe, or I have a car and house, maybe to attract other people but the truth is i don't i am not so yeah there are a lot of reasons why do we lie to other people and sometimes i think mm, it's not uh it's not good i should say but sometimes we need it <laughs> we need to do uh -huh. lie. maybe it's uh -huh. yeah it, it's it's kind of like white lie yeah, it's quite like maybe in some case like we don't want to make um our parents um worry about us so we have to lie to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is not a good thing but sometimes I think like we need to do it. <laughs> so yeah, uh -huh. that's that's from me. Yeah, great, thank you, Nikki. Uh if everyone uh told the truth only the truth all the time uh, hi hello hello um, my name is dima full name is dmitry i live in russia i'm from russia siberia uh, north Siberian region karasov town is located near the bottom of kazakhstan and nowadays i'm living in um mardovia republic uh, not republic state of russia and i'm studying here and uh, oh, about uh, about my English, I've been learning English now for six years by myself, and also I still learn Spanish, but I'm a beginner, I know basic words and phrases, and uh, I can introduce myself only and also understand Ukrainian. Uh, I know separate words and phrases, and uh, I can, underst can understand Ukrainian speakers very well, but uh, I cannot speak. And um, yeah, so what else? Uh, I'm 28 years old and uh, okay, I'm, I'm living alone here in this, uh, in this room. And, uh, okay, Mr. Andy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dima. Thank you. Uh, I'm also from Russia, actually, but from the south of Russia, oh, from Chechen great. Republic. So, yeah. And just... Uh, thank you. And uh, I see two more participants uh azizi i hope i pronounce correctly hi hello sorry i can't open my camera because now i in the uh my duty so okay. sorry for that it's fine but you can tell us something about yourself can't you uh i'm azizi i'm from indonesia i'm mother i have two kids nice to meet you all Mashallah, nice to meet you too. And uh, one more participant, uh, is it Muji? Sorry if I mispronounce it. Hi, hi, hello everyone. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi. Oh, you're so beautiful, oh my God. I love you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I can't open my cam. I'm in a bed. Actually, I got. Um, just a little bit under the weather, and I got short throat, so you can hear my voice. It's like a monster, you know. No, 
Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it sounds nice, actually. I'm sorry, Get I can't. Get well soon, like. Like, Yeah, because I'm on bed and I'd like to say hey to everyone. Hello, you see. Hello, Mrs. Salah, Dima. Hello, Nikki. I think it's my first time meeting you here. And Great. I'm mm-hmm. happy that you the first but time with know. us. Where are you from, dear? Well, I'm from Indonesia. It's not my first time joining UC's Google Meet, but it's just my first time meeting Nikki here. And also oh, to I you, see. Teacher Amina. I see. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I got you, dear. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Okay. Actually, we were discussing um, the question, why people lie? Why do people tell lies? What's your opinion? Why? Muti, Azizi, Dima. And we are still Amen. waiting for Salah, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, two, uh, I realize that two things involved in lying, people lies uh, pertaining to two things. It's mm-hmm. either to destroy someone or to protect themselves. Uh-huh. Yeah. These are, the, yeah. these are the two things why people lie. And the most dangerous lie is destroying someone. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I agree in one of the reasons you said sometimes lying is good, like to protect yourself from enemies, like scammers. Uh, if you lie to scammers, you are protecting yourself, but in a real sense, lying is not something that is good, but we are in a world whereby nobody should be trusted. Lies are important in that case. Lying in, important, in, is important in that case because you are meeting people that are strange to you. You cannot tell them a uh, fact about everything about you so that uh, they can be your enemies, they can get you the way they want to get you. Um, uh, but uh, in a relationship, I can say it, uh, you somebody that you know, and then you trust the individual, no need to lie for that individual. It's just like the world is so open that uh, we have to be very careful, people, the way we talk to people, and you you, you should be open-minded guy to, to, to know people very well so that at least you can differentiate who is the good one and who is the bad one. Because we have so many bad, bad people in this world right now that can destroy you at any seconds. And you'll be talking to them, uh, seeing their faces, seeing their innocent faces, while uh, uh, they, 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 they are stamp, stamping you behind. Before you know, they already finish you. Uh, I, can say, I can say those type of people, you can lie to them so that you can protect yourself. These are the two lies that I know that uh, uh, involved is either to destroy someone or either to protect himself. If you are lying to protect yourself, it won't lie. But if you you involve somebody, uh, like for instance, into a business, uh, me, I'm into a business, uh, and then the people that you are dealing with, they are genuine people, no need to lie to them. Tell them the truth. If you lie as a businessman and you continue lying, your, your customers will be declined. You don't lie because of you need money uh, 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 in, a, in, a, in a business. You lie in a, into a business, you are declined. But the more you, you are trustworthy into a business, I believe that your business will rise. Because anything that you tell a customer is what he's going to hold on. If you tell him lie, he's going to hold on your lie. If you tell him the truth, he's going to lo- hold on your truth. And uh, But as I said, lying, where can lie involve is in the scammers. And then you see the individual, you don't trust the person. You should lie to the person so that he don't, you don't get what he wants from you. That uh, you, can, you can lie. And then later on, you can repent and say that, uh, may, may Allah forgive you. I can say it. But God knows your intention is not to lie for the individual. But then, you are protecting yourself. And uh, I believe that even that one God is going to forgive you. Because you, 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 are, you are talking to a stranger that you don't know. Even, if, if, even though these days, even if it is your own family member, you should have watched very careful the way you talk to the person. Because some people get information from you and then go lie against you, which is, which is, which is too bad. That's why sometimes the way you communicate and the way you, you do business with people and the, the way you move your steps is very important into your life. Where you lie and where you tell the truth should be important to you as an individual. <laughs> True. Thank you. I, I really like your idea that uh, yeah. the, about the two ways, right? To protect yourself or to destroy someone else. Yeah. Exactly. 
thank you for sharing your ideas, sir. <laughs> welcome. Thank Babakur. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, great. Yeah. And uh, uh, guys, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask anytime, okay? Exactly. Any? No? Dima, uh, will you tell us maybe uh, what do you think about this question? Why do people lie? Oh, actually, yes, I totally agree with him. <laughs> and uh, people lie to um, avoid punishment or protect themselves. And um, and also, um, well, when they make uh, jokes, for example, like uh, um, how to say it in English, um, uh, um, yes. okay. uh, one second. It's fine. No, Pranks, what pranks? Yes, what, ah, yes. okay, like prank. Okay, yeah. Yes, and uh, uh, and then business sphere, or uh, also people like quite often to uh, to, to sell their products uh, and to, to get more money, and uh, in oh, mm -hmm. politics also they they lie all the time. And, uh, oh, yeah. So when they have their personal right aims like profit or power, influence on someone else, right? Yes, and do, uh, do I understand you correctly? Yes, correctly. And uh, unfortunately, lots of people believe believe them, and, uh, believe authorities, and, um, and uh, it's, it's okay. Bad. They can do bad bad things. The, yeah, unfortunately, uh, though, let's hope that not all of them are of this kind. <laughs> uh, hope dies the last, right? So, okay, thank you. Thank you, Dima. Azizi, will you share your Hi. ideas? Hi, dear. Yeah. Yeah. My idea if someone lie, maybe uh they afraid for uh speaking true or maybe um she just want to make a uh, fun so uh she give a uh, lying in the funny story make people uh, smile like that but honestly if in the office or maybe in the college if we speaking liar uh, people not believe this is, is um so bad i think this is not good in the college or maybe in the uh, always for work, but just for just for fun, we kidding, we make uh, someone smile. Uh, yeah, little liar is okay. <laughs> this is my opinion. I go <laughs> to just, just just as a joke, right? Not not yeah, a joke, so, but as a, as a joke. Okay, yeah. I got you. Thank you, thank you, Zizi. It was nice. Adiba, welcome. I, I can't see you. I wish yeah. I could. <laughs> Hello. Hi, dear. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm just sorry. I I was late. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but thank you for joining. And uh, uh, here we are discussing lies and the purposes why people actually lie. Do you have any ideas about that? Oh, sorry. Oh, can you repeat again? Why do people tell lies? Mm -hmm. uh, what are the uh, reasons for for that? Uh, based on my experience, people lie because they want to like uh, they don't want to hurt people. Like yeah, they don't want to hurt people, and when they say like honestly about something. Maybe it can make a people like uh, can be overthinking or something like like they feel like uh, in up uh, feel insecure or something like that. So it is better uh, for them maybe to be like even though it's not really is yeah even though it's not good but yeah it can help people to like to give 
like uh, a peach like that. Uh huh. I got you. Thank you. Uh, you know, when I was preparing for this uh, meeting, I read one uh, statement, and to be honest, I still don't know whether to agree with that or not because uh, it, it was like. Uh, the main reason for people to lie is low self-esteem. Do you agree with this? Mm -hmm. With this statement? Low self-esteem. That means that the person, I don't know, is not uh, uh, self-confident enough, right? Uh, uh, yeah. I've heard about that and I ag ag agree with that. But yeah, sometimes I agree with that. But it it can make uh, something is not it's not good feel like it, when we always lie what something can be like it's something like uh, we can like a uh, give uh, we look like uh, assume that they like a fake people or something like that I would assume like that I, I don't know okay I got you uh, anyone else maybe someone else want to comment on this no okay thank you guys so uh muji are you with us yeah <coughs> okay I'm so going, you are the um, last person tell us well, i got back carving and it's a little bit tough for me to speak oh, so um, feel but sorry yeah, about that it's okay i like to be here and for this topic, actually, all of my friends, all of my participants here, they shared very good ideas. And I can't agree more than that. I mean, like, all the things that I really want to share is pick up my mind. They already told uh, us here. And I think there's nothing more I can add. It's just like, for, you know, white lies is always to be a white lies it means like all the people who do white lies i think because they have good intention even though sometimes it's good intention is like you know um across with what people need what other people want what other people demand because yeah it just depends on our perspective you know but still in my religion in Islam, of course, we have this kind of white lies and it is allowed. So um, there's no, how can I say, there's no negative thing about this, especially in saving lives, in saving others' lives, just like Mrs. Salah have already told us. It was so complete and I do agree with that. So based on my own opinion, um, I'm just hoping that I won't, I won't, uh, I wish that I will not need more white lies because, however, it's still a lie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. But yeah, it's like, this is life. So we, life is not only about black and white, but it's also gray. So I believe all of you here understand about this. Well, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Maja. That's really <laughs> nice from your side. Uh, so, uh, I hope you can see the screen, just uh, I shared for some minutes, the uh, white lies, right, from the dictionary, actually, it's a harmless or trivial lie, especially one told to avoid hurting someone's feelings, right, and the term dates back to the 14th century and is linked to the historical color situations that suggest there is for misprint, that white symbolizes something morally pure and uh, innocent, right? And the black symbolizes sinister intent. So when we say white lies, that means that we don't have any bad intention, right? And just want to uh, avoid hurting someone's feelings. Uh huh. Um, so I just wanted to ask you if you um, had situations in your own in your own lives when you had to. Um, tell white lies uh, and uh, why what uh, was uh, what were the circumstances what was the situation and uh, how how do how do you feel about it how did you feel at that moment about that do you feel it's just uh, like uh, something um, unconscious or 
um, it's something that you um, clearly understand that it's lie, but you have to tell it. I hope you understood <laughs> what I meant. So, Nikki? Um, yeah. Uh, for for me... Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Andy is back. Great. Yes, yes, ma'am. I think lie uh, maybe I I ever lie uh, it, to cover my 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 faults. I'm sorry to cover your fault, right? Yeah, my 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 kesalahan apa ya? Uh, kesalahan. Mistake. My fault. My mistake. My mistake. Mistake. Sorry, okay. Uh huh. I got you. Uh huh. In in some time, I I lie to cover my mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think it's harmless or it could have some bad consequences? I'm sorry, ma'am, I, I, I can't understand. My English uh, so little. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, is is it fine for other people when you uh, tell something like this? Is it okay for other people? Okay, MD, if uh, if it's uh huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Miss. <laughs> did, did you read uh, the chat? I, I guess Majid wrote something there. Uh -huh, I understood <laughs> that you're trying to translate. Thank you. Thank you for help. <laughs> okay, think and uh, we'll ask you a little bit later, okay? Andy. Thank you. So, uh, Nikki? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, actually, I, I am I'm thinking about the experience of white lie and <laughs> I, find, I find that uh, I cannot describe it, but maybe, for example, when someone hurt me, and I feel so, I feel bad or I'm hurt or something that not nice. And maybe, maybe someone will ask me, hey, are you okay? Or what happened to you? Uh, maybe I just, I don't want to, you know, like disturb or um, I feel bad. You will your soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't want other people to think about my problem or anything. So I just want, I just uh, say, no, yeah, I'm okay. Or no, that's nothing happened. I'm just okay. Um, I think uh, it is just a white line. <laughs> or do you consider it like like it? Do you consider it, consider it a white lie? Because it's um, like white lie. But yeah, I guess I cannot find some situation where I should tell someone white lie because I myself don't want to lie. <laughs> but sometimes, <coughs> for myself, if other other person asks me, uh, "What happened to you? Are you okay?" Then I will just say, "Yes, I am okay." <laughs> um, while the truth is may the truth. Maybe I am feeling down or unmotivated or I, I just feel bad about something. But mm -hmm. I just 
spontaneously say, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> So yeah. Yeah. I think we got used I, to that, right? And moreover, uh, sometimes it's like etiquette. Like, so we, we don't just say that we're mm -hmm. not fine, right? Just like... Yeah. Okay, so, thank you. I, so I had, you know, I, mm -hmm, I had a situation when um, someone gave me a gift and I really thought that this gift is so... Mm, <laughs> bad for me I, i didn't need it moreover I, i i didn't want it but i knew that this this person was trying to make something good for me right and uh, i of course i had to to say that the gift was just amazing and i'm so happy and thank him and so on so mm -hmm. this is another example yeah thank you nikki guys yeah. again if you have any questions Feel free to ask, communicate. Yes, Adiba is always like stylish. <laughs> you see, maybe you want to, to tell us any story of yours. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, it depends on uh, individual mindset. Uh, So if uh, some person, as far as I know, if some person uh, who just want uh, to think about the others, who just want uh, to keep the thing hidden, and he speak, he she is speaking a lie. So we can say, yeah, it's uh, you can say if if you found him guilty, if you find him guilty, so you can say it's uh, a white lie, because every and each body know about them that something is going uh, on the other side, but he just try to hide the thing, he just try to speak a lie. So yeah, we can say, yeah, it's. Why it lie? Because we know about it. We know about the person that uh, how the way he is uh, treating the people, how the way he is talking, and how he is uh, hiding the thing. So I, I think we can say uh, that this is the why it lie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I agree with you, this Mister. Uh, guys, do you have questions? No questions. I like when you do, when you have questions. I have a question. Yes, yes, Nikki. Um, Thank you. Um, so, what's the... I mean, I want to ask, so, is it a good thing if we do white lie or tell what white lie or it's not a good thing? How do you think, guys? How do you think? Hello. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I get it. Okay, thank you, thank uh, you. It depends on the, yeah. the motive, how, why we do it. Yes, right? exactly, exactly, yeah. right. And Excuse we me, I want to answer Nikki's myself. question. Sure, go ahead. Okay, Nikki, if we are lying one time, we will lying two times, three times. So careful about lying. <laughs> Speak honestly is good because if one time we lie, maybe we will uh, close uh, this uh, uh, what is it? One time liar, we will uh, do two times, three times to to make uh, one time is similar true. So we be careful about this. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I th guys, I think the addiction of lie is very harmful for the human because once we addict with the lie, so 
if we will never control ourselves then each and every situation we will be try to speak a lie so i think this is very bad addiction right okay just let me give you one example and you tell me if it's bad or not for example uh once okay. i i went to uh moscow and uh i my um sister had to um, meet me at the airport but uh, it happened so that she um turned out in a hospital so she was in a hospital and uh, it was a kind of emergency and i stayed alone in the unknown city it's a big city moscow with no one there and my sister was at the hospital and my mom calls me and asks if i'm fine <laughs> if everything is okay and i told her i'm fine mom everything is fine everything is good and then i tried to Mm. find the solution for this problem and after all after all that happened i told her the truth after all when everything was just like in memory that's it was it bad should i tell her the truth to make her worry to make her un feel uncomfortable Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Muji, I see you. Well, that was a lie, true. That was a lie, but it was kind of white lie because I really did. I, I knew that my mom is very, um, how, how, how to explain it, a person who uh, will be worrying a lot, right? So Muji, you wanted to tell something? Yes, yeah, so, mm -hmm. so my mother has passed away and she has three brother, I'm sorry, sorry. three siblings, two uncles and one auntie. So my auntie got stroke and uh, my two brothers noticed about this and uh, when my number three uncle even got sick she we hide it from her so she was thinking like why might this one brother never called me and i said maybe she he is very busy and then until my second uncle um passed away i we we keep this secret from her from my auntie because she got struck and i believe that we believe that when we tell her about the news so it will be something very bad for her because they loved each other and now until my auntie passed away so she even didn't know that um her older brother has passed away before her and now I only have one left, uncle. So that was my story. It's a very big lie for us, but we really think that we need to do that to, yeah, you know, in case of my auntie's health. So yeah, that's kind of why. But as I said before, that I wish I would never do such lies. I mean, like even these white lies, but I hope I will be avoided by, you know, from that situation. So that's my story. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. And I work on the lessons for this. Uh, Sirajuddin, yeah? You want to tell something? Mr. Siraj? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sister, I would like to add another point here. Ed Sure. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to add another point here as we are gathering here for a topic about lie today. So I think uh, the point to be noted that we have to add this thing here because according to Islam, as you know all, that uh, we are allowed only in one situation to speak a lie. Whenever we know that if I will speak the truth so I can last my lives, I can last my life. So in this situation, only we can speak the lie as far as I know, as I studied about that. So I think uh, apart from it, accept it, uh, we don't need to speak a lie because 
you know it will spread the negativity even we are caring about the humanity we are caring about our family as we already here discuss that sometime we are speaking a lie because we don't want to hurt our family we don't want to hurt our uh, you can see our friends but according to islam in this situation we will also need to speak the truth only because we are only allowed to speak the lie in those situation when we know that if i will speak the truth so i can last my life so at that situation we can only speak the truth i think this is the better okay. truthness this is the better truth which i have added here <laughs> Can I just add something? Yes, first of all, to protect uh, your life, of course, to deceive your enemies. And also when two people are in the quarrel, just to make to make them up, you also can say the lies according to Islam. And one more thing, when when husband, for example, tells her, uh, he is sorry, wife, you are the most beautiful in this world. So it's also acceptable, actually, in Islam. But thank you. Of course, we uh, we agree with you. You'd better not to say that because the prophet also said that you shouldn't tell lies even as a joke. Yeah, that that's true. Apart from from this uh, cases, um, <laughs> that's really very very um, how how to say um, sharp topic, right? It's very sharp. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice, right? When you hear something <laughs> like this, that you're the most beautiful. Okay, um, yeah. maybe someone else wants to share. It's become now, it's become a style and it's become very normative in our society to say to women, oh, you are very beautiful. She say, oh, it's okay. What do what you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Everyone is happy, right? No, no one yeah. is hurt. Yeah. Uh, yes, Mr. Yes. Salah and Dima, maybe, uh, do, do you want to tell us something, any experience of white lies? Okay, thank you. Uh, th thank yeah. you once again. Uh, Muji, I am sorry, wish you speedy recovery. And Adiba, you are welcome. I miss to see your card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I, I, I agree on what people are saying. Uh, but then uh, as a businessman me i i condemn lying because uh, uh i'm in a, into a business whereby when you talk it to a customer and the customer tell you that i'm going to give you tomorrow morning uh, give me your product tomorrow i'm going to send you the money and then that money you budgeted that money to go and buy product or you budgeted that money for something else and he fails you know that 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 lie if he is making it as a joke, he's trying to destroy your business. Uh, that's why I I condemn lying. Anything that you are saying, but like a businessman, you must meet customers that you know that they they are, uh, they, they they lie too much so that they can make you comfortable so that you don't get angry, which is too bad. What is going to happen? That lie is going to hunt hurt you uh, hunt you because what is going to happen again? If I have trusted you and give you my my product. And then you lie to me, if you come back, I'm not going to give you. If I finish with you, you pay my money, you're not going to get a product again because I know that you are a liar. The day that you give me, you're going to give me my money, you don't, you'll not give me my money. That's why uh, in this situation, lies, uh, uh, even lies give you positive positive uh, 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 answers or give you positive uh, solution. If you don't mind, you will maintain lying. You will maintain it. And uh, when it gives you negative, then you'll be very careful. That's why sometimes mm -hmm. uh, uh, I realize that in our working places, what is going to happen? You lie too much until your boss we realize that you are a you are a liar. At the end of the day, will sack you. It happened to my one of my employees. Uh, anytime I I I I ask her, she say verbal, and I trusted her too much. What happened is the camera that reveal all what she's saying that is a lie. Now what happened that you keep on lying, and then the cameras come and they realize that. And then what the funniest thing about it is that cameras they don't lie exactly i send it to her i say what you said and what the camera said who is this individual he said i'm the individual i say you suck yourself you have been saying something that is not true you see and unfortunately the camera bring voices the voices and it's your own voices that the camera will bring and then you hear your own voice you see that's why i am uh, urging everyone whether you are in a position whether you are in a marriage uh, only marriage, I can say that a little bit sometimes, uh, if you have an aggressive husband, 
or you have an aggressive uh, 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 wife, wife. Uh, you need to be very careful the way you 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 say you 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 say the truth sometimes because you may you may say the truth and then slap you meet with there. You may say the truth, uh, uh, divorce with meet with there. But anything that can make sure that can connect you together, make sure that you do that. At the end of the day, when you are happy together, maybe you can say that what I told you is something that it was not true. I am I, I just want I don't want it you not to be upset. That's why I, 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 I come in that way. But there are some aggressive husbands, you, you always want to maintain say the truth, they will all, they will always hurt you. Uh, you must, you must, uh, that's why I am saying here, uh, the individual that you are dealing with is very important for you to observe that guy. Some people they don't want lies at all. But some people are there, it's only lies that can, that can, that can move you together, you and that individual. Okay, I got you. I think that in the professional sphere, kind of business some and people. professional sphere, it's it's not white lies. Yeah, exactly. white lies are inappropriate in the uh, professional sphere. It's it's not white lies. It's something else, but not. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Welcome. Uh, and I it. agree with you. Is as, uh, when you mm, told us about the marriage and this this kind of thing. Yeah. Really, something. So sometimes you just need it. That's true. Thank you. Masala. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Dima. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> Why, press uh -huh. down. Um. Did you have any situation in your life when you had to uh, use white lies? Um, actually, I don't like it. I prefer not to lie, but uh, it happens sometimes when I um, when I visit my aunt. Uh, or she lives in my town to my my father's sister, and uh, she uh, treats me with food. <laughs> gives me. She likes to cooking, and uh, she likes to uh, to treat her ga mm -hmm. guests. Food. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't like your food, do you do you say that it's something not good? No, you should say yes, it's good. I like it. But, uh, <laughs> so you see, yeah, <laughs> this is one of the examples. Uh, do you have children? Sorry. For no, person. no, I don't have. Not yet. Okay. No, I don't have. But um, I, I have a. Mm. I co co cousin, a small uh, mm. cousin, young, young cousin, yes, <laughs> a girlfriend. Uh, uh -huh. years younger than me, uh, and uh, she lives in Moscow. And, um, and uh, I remember we were traveling together, and uh, we went to uh, Anapa, and uh, mm -hmm. me, my mom, uh, her, her sister. It's a resort. R resort. Just for, for others to understand, yeah, it's it's a resort. So, and uh, her, um, no, my my mother's sister, uh, daughter, she she was capricious that period of her life, and uh, uh, she could uh, cry quite often. And uh, one time, I she she wanted to get something. Or, and mm -hmm. uh, I told her, no, I like her girlfriend or boyfriend. And uh, but um, but finally, it, it can lead to divorce. <laughs> and uh, after after getting married with people uh, in Russia, it's unfortunately it's quite common that people they they, they divorce and. Uh, and maybe it's, uh, do, do you mean do you mean white lies or just the lie? Uh, mm, no, maybe if people I say compliments and but in fact they they uh, they don't like that person maybe and. Uh, uh, okay, just just uh, uh, like example. For example, you tell your uh, girlfriend that she looks amazing in the dress, but you don't think so. And later she knows that uh, that wasn't true. You don't like the stress and you just 
uh, told us, uh, I don't know why, just to make her feel happy. Is that bad? Uh, oh, I don't think it's bad, but uh, I judge my... I, um, but, but that is what is white lie, guys. Maybe um, yeah, maybe the concept is a little bit uh, misleading because white lies is something really, um, how to say it, innocent maybe. For example, my grandmother sewed uh, for me some uh, sweater. Uh, the sweater is really ugly. I don't like the color. I don't like the size. <laughs> I don't like anything about it. But it's my grandmother, right? And she uh, just threw it for me personally. So, of course, I'll tell her. It's amazing, granny. I never seen anything uh, as beautiful as this sweater. But it's so beautiful that I can't wear it. I will, I will keep it. I will keep it for my daughter, for my <laughs> granddaughter to show them and so on. So, this is what's uh, white lies and isn't that no. ah, disputable okay. question right disputable okay <laughs> thank you Dima thank you for sharing <laughs> okay. Okay. yes when my daughter will tell me the same it's also fine okay. really I'll understand she doesn't like it she doesn't like something mm, I, I uh... <laughs> yeah thank you but that's true. I never. I, I don't want to impose anything on my children or anyone else. Uh, so uh, I, I really liked our discussion. It was great. It was nice. Maybe someone wants to add something. 